everyone, I'm Ace of Clay and welcome to another sculpting video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. Today I'm sculpting the Hyde Monster from the show Wednesday on Netflix. The second I saw this monster pop up on the screen, I knew I had to sculpt it and I had so much fun bringing him to life. And of course, I hope you love watching me make it from start to finish. And today we're just going to keep the intro short and sweet. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ace of Clay and let's get started. All right, let's get started on this guy's armature. I got my aluminum wire here and I'm shaping out one half of his body. And then I'm going to mirror that and tie it together with another piece of wire, like so. Now it's time to bulk out the torso with some heavy duty aluminum foil. After getting the foil to the size that I want, let's go ahead and add some Super Sculpey Ultra Light. This is going to be a nice smooth surface for me to add my final layer of clay. This step can be skipped if you want. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and get this in the oven. Now that our armature is baked and cooled down, it's time to add our final layer of clay. For this project, I'm using Cosclay Sculpt in Medium Firm. Let's go ahead and cover that torso and start adding our details like the pectoral muscles and just a crazy muscle structure that this guy has. Now I'm not gonna lie, sculpting this guy was kinda hard just because he's really hard to see in all of the scenes that he appears in. Normally if I'm sculpting fan art, I'll look up like an action figure of that character or something like that, but nothing exists of this hide monster yet. So I just had to go off of screenshots that I found on Google or even, you know, pausing the show as I watch it. So I did my best. He was really hard to see. All the scenes are really dark, but I think this looks like him when I'm done. I don't know. You let me know in the comments if you think I did a good job. And there are some really clear shots of his face. So I think I did the face okay. But the body, like I said, every shot is like a different angle. He's moving. He's just so animated that it's hard to figure out what this thing actually looks like. I wish I could just like message Tim Burton and ask him for like a 3D scan of him or something. That would have been great. But anyway, let's go ahead and detail the back. This is one version of the back. It ends up changing, but we just kind of roll with it and see what happens. Just adding the snake of clay to create his like spine. And then we're going to smooth everything out. Once the torso is at a good point, let's go ahead and start working on the limbs, starting with his arms. Once that arm clay is on, let's go ahead and give him a delt. Just want to bring that out a little bit. He's got some pretty broad shoulders. Now using my ball stylus, I'm gonna go ahead and create some indents here and there like his collarbones. And then let's go down back to the legs and start shaping out his muscle structure. And then we'll blend all of these pieces of clay together. And then in one of the shots, I noticed that he has a pretty detailed butt. So let's go ahead and sculpt his butt. I think this is the first butt I've ever sculpted on this channel. Anyway, moving on, I'm bored of the body, so we're going to start making his head. I'm going to roll out this ball of aluminum foil, cover that in my cos clay, and then start cutting out his gaping mouth with my Excel blade. Use code Ace of Clay at ExcelBlades.com to save 15% on your purchase. Best blades ever. Now let's just start refining the mouth a little bit, give him some smile lines or nasolobial creases put on his nose really quick so I can figure out where to add his eyes. Start shaping out the sockets with my large ball stylus and then working our way around getting this guy to come to life. And this is the ugly phase that I need to push through because I was looking at this thing like, oh my God, this is never going to look like him. But it does just kind of trust the process. Let's give him some cheekbones here and then blend those in and then we can start working on his eyes. His eyes were a lot of fun. He's got two really big round eyes. Definitely looks like a Tim Burton monster. And this is the part where I just wanted to smash it and start over, but I'm glad I didn't. So I'm going to give him a nice prominent brow bone. And 
and that first brow bone wasn't looking too hot, so let's make it bigger. And I also wanted to add some more height to his forehead, so I'm just blending in that clay here. And I made his cheekbones a little too bulgy, so we're going to cut them down a little bit. And I'm going to shape out his nose a little bit more, and then we can start popping in his eyes. There we go, eye number one. And then we're going to start shaping out the eyelids with my explorer tool. And then I realize this eye is too small, so we need to make the holes bigger and put in bigger eyes. So watch me take out the eye. There we go. All right, make the hole bigger and then stick in a bigger ball. Much better. It looks way more like him. And normally I like doing things right the first time. That's just how I work. I hate having to start over, but sometimes you have to. And I'm just adding some very tiny snakes of clay to create those eyelids. And we're just going to press them in a little bit, shape them out, make sure we maintain the perfect sphere of each eye. Now at this point of the process, I'm starting to feel better. Let's go ahead and start adding some details with this cone shaper tool. And let's poke out his nostrils with my tiny ball stylus that Simon from Clay Claim sent me. There we go, it's really starting to look like him now. And I just wanna make sure the shape of his mouth is right and everything's nice and smooth inside there and mouth textured. Like so, make sure the smile is just right. And now I'm going to take some little pieces of cosplay and start rolling out his teeth. He's got a bunch of little tiny dagger teeth. So I'm gonna roll those out on this dirty piece of glass. And then I'm going to pop these in the oven, pre-bake them so that I can just poke them right into his gums. But before I do that, we have to finish up his body. Here is back number two. I think this is what it looks like. Gonna add some bumps and texture and get this guy finished up. After attaching the rest of his arm, I'm going in with my medium ball stylus to create some muscle structure. Now to texture his body, I'm using my medium ball stylus and very lightly touching the surface with it and creating all different sorts of shapes like S's and curly Q's, just going crazy with it until the whole thing's covered. Now back to his head. This is not pre-baked. I just add the gums to the unbaked head and I'm gonna start poking in the teeth with these fancy little tweezers. I have no idea where these came from, but I'm pretty sure they sell some like them on excelblades.com. And at this point I started getting confused. I was like, am I sculpting Bat Boy from the National Enquirer or Gollum from Lord of the Rings? I don't know, kind of looks like a hybrid of both of them, but we're just gonna ignore that and stick on his ears. Now I wanna pop in his tongue. I probably should have done this before I added the teeth, but that's okay, it works out. There we go, his head looks pretty good. Let's set it aside and finish up his body. Starting with his hands. Let's go ahead and get these made. And because of the position I want his fingers in and the fact that cosplay doesn't break, I don't have to add wire to the fingers. If I wanted them to be outstretched or something like that, then I would add wire because it does still need support, but they won't crack off.
All right, now let's go ahead and work our way down and finish up his legs, add his feet, and get this guy wrapped up. And I can't forget to texture the rest of his leg, so let's go ahead and do that now. And then I'll finish off his other leg off camera. I think I already did it. Okay, now let's stick on his head with some bacon bond and more clay. A great tip for blending uncured clay into cured clay is to brush on some bacon bond. It just blends the clay in seamlessly, really finishes it off. I'm doing that here, kind of rough though. <laughs> there we go, let's get him in the oven. And once he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time for paint. I'm using Folk Art brand matte acrylics for this sculpt. I'm gonna start with this color called Mauve Dust that I realize is too light. Again, I really don't know what the true colors of this guy are but I'm just gonna do my best. So we're gonna go with this nice dark gray beigey tone here, get him completely covered in this and then go from there. After that base coat is on, I'm gonna go in with a watered down darker gray and just brush this out all over the surface. I'm not gonna wipe off the excess because I really like the tint that it's adding and it's really getting into all of those nooks and crannies. After darkening my wash with a little bit more black, I'm gonna go into all those wrinkles on his face a little more and then cover everything in a nice dry brushing of light gray. I wanna really bring out those details. Now for the fun part, his face details. I'm gonna paint his eyes this very light pink color just because his eyes are bloodshot and this really adds to that instead of painting them all white first or something like that. And I just wanna darken the area around his eyes a little bit more before I keep going. And while his eyes are drying, let's go ahead and paint his mouth. All right, time to add that bloodshot effect to his eyes. I just wanna add a watered down ring of red around each of them, and then we can go in and add some tiny little red veins. Now I'm gonna paint his teeth and then we can go back and add his irises. All 
All right, let's finish off his eyes and bring this guy to life once and for all. And for the final step, let's add some synthetic wool and give him some hair. I'm just going to use some Fabri-Tac to attach the hair, add a little bit all over the scalp and just stick it on the way that I want. And again, I don't know what color this guy's hair truly is, but in one of the scenes, it looks brown, so I'm making it brown. Could be black, could be purple for all I know. But now we're gonna add some drool stretching from his top teeth to his bottom teeth. And to make the drool, I'm using more Fabri-Tac. It dries exactly how it is placed and it stays there forever. It's kind of delicate. You don't really wanna touch it after it's dry because you can break the strands, but that's okay. If you really wanna get crazy with the, the drool, you can use resin. And there we go. You know what's next. Say it with me. And he's done! The Hyde Monster from Wednesday is complete. Let me know what you think of him in the comments. Like I said in the video voiceovers, it was really hard to figure out what this guy looks like because all the scenes that he's in are super dark and I can't really tell like what his coloring is. He's always moving super fast all over the screen and there's like 50 different angles every time he shows up. So it was quite the journey trying to figure out how to make this guy's body, but I think I did an okay job. The only thing I'm really concerned about is whether or not his hair is actually brown because that's kind of a big deal. But overall, I think he looks really cool. I love the drool with the fabric tag. I think that's a really cool effect. It really adds to this guy's face and I'm really happy with him. So let me know what you think of him in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ace of Clay. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.